Now I had this problem with my Samsung TV and I've tested it on both my AirPods 3 and AirPods Pro because I've got both from my reviews. And it's quite frustrating really, but I've done a bit of research and I found five workarounds that will resolve this issue, but a heads up, they will require investing a small amount of money, but compared to the original cost of your AirPods, it's only a small amount, apart from the fifth solution. Uh, so anyway, here are my solutions for you right now. Option one is to connect your iPhone to your TV with a Lightning to HDMI adapter cable. This is the simplest and cheapest option, but unfortunately you can only mirror free content on your TV. And if I go to control panel, I can go to the audio and I can adjust the audio and I've got the full features of the audio in my AirPods, which is the spatial audio and the head tracking audio. So if you're watching a movie, that's really good because you've got all the full audio features of your AirPods. You can also use Siri to change the volume or pause or play the content you're watching. Hey Siri, turn the volume up. Hey Siri, pause. This method works well, especially if you like watching a lot of BBC TV programmes. But apart from that, the choice of TV programme content is quite limited. I also had an issue with no volume control after connecting my AirPods 3 to my iPhone when it was attached to the Lightning to HDMI cable. But this was easily fixed by removing the AirPods from my ears and then putting them back in. Streaming sticks are wireless devices that allow you to stream content from your smartphone or the internet to your TV. Three of the most popular streaming sticks on the market are Chromecast, Anycast and Rocco. Anycast is the cheapest of these streaming sticks but will only let you mirror your iPhone's display so that only media playing on your iPhone is streamed to your TV. The same method used by the Lightning to HDMI cable option. This means that you can listen to and control your TV audio volume from your iPhone in the same way, with the full functionality of your AirPods. Chromecast, however, allows you to stream content directly from the internet to your TV, as well as the ability to mirror your iPhone display. Chromecast does this via Chromecast enabled apps on your iPhone, which include paid apps such as Netflix, Disney Plus and Amazon Prime Video. With Chromecast enabled apps, you need to connect your AirPods to your TV instead of your iPhone so that you can use the app's built-in TV volume control. You can also control your TV volume from the Google Home app. Rocco is another popular streaming stick which offers a wider choice of content than Chromecast or Anycast, but the most notable difference is its slick user interface, where you can easily browse and search for media from your TV, including Rocco original content, all of the popular streaming apps such as Netflix, YouTube, Amazon Prime, Disney+, Apple TV, and more. To control your TV volume using the Rocco streaming stick, you need to connect your AirPods to your TV and select the option for private listening in the Rocco Remote Control app, which you can download from the App Store. Well, what can I say about the Apple TV streamer box other than you're guaranteed the very best audio performance from your AirPods? combined with a wide choice of content, including Apple original shows and movies, Apple TV+, Disney+, Amazon, HBO Max and more. If you go for their 4K model, you'll get the smoothest and sharpest 4K playback possible on your TV, but you can also go for their slightly cheaper high definition model too. For fans of Apple's ecosystem, the Apple TV box is well worth investing in. 
But if you just want to get your AirPods working well with your TV, then you can save a lot of money by going with one of my other options. And here's a comparison table to help you decide. You may have noticed that I haven't mentioned Amazon's Fire TV streaming stick here. And that's because at the time of this video, I couldn't find any volume control options for AirPods for it. My favorite option from this list has to be the Rocker streaming stick because it's very simple to set up and use, gives you a wide choice of content to watch, and you could also buy the Rocker Stream Bar instead, which combines the functions of the streaming stick with the TV sound bar, which in my experience is very good for the price. So there you go, these are my five solutions, which I admit are not a perfect solution to your AirPods TV volume control issue. But I think you'd agree, they do offer some kind of workaround, and you get the added benefit of more content to watch from your TV as well. So if you're interested in any of these options, I will be posting some product links in the video description below. And if you like this video, please thumbs it up and subscribe for a lot more tech reviews and help guides to come. Thanks for watching.